What's up guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my picks for NBA Sunday, April 22nd. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss our new videos. Okay, at point guard, I like the value of Quinn Cook at only 4,200 salary. Sean Livingston is dealing with an ankle, so Quinn Cook should get a full run. Cook scored 23 fantasy points in 19 minutes last game with a 25% usage rate. Quinn Cook only needs 20 fantasy points to return five times value tonight. Oh, so congratulations to Dennis Martin. Dennis Martin, you are the winner of the $50 comment contest. Just reply to my comment to collect your prize. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $50 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won, and then we'll send you $50 PayPal. So it's that easy, and we pick a new winner every Saturday night. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Okay, let's take a look at Shooting Guard. Oladipo is cheap on DraftKings at only 8700 so that's a great play on DK. For both sites, I like Clay Thompson again for 6500 Clay had an off night last game, only scoring 25 fantasy points in 37 minutes. This is the first game he missed value, so his price stayed the same as a result. I like the heavy minutes Clay is getting, and he can get hot and go off for 50 plus at any time. Clay will need about 33 fantasy points to return value. Okay, who do we have at small forward? Great value play on FanDuel here is Lance Stevenson at only 3,700 on FanDuel, but he's 600 more on DraftKings, so I'd stay away from him over there. I'm kind of waiting for Lance to have his game and go off. He scored 15 fantasy points in 23 minutes last game, and at 3,700, he only really needs 16 fantasy points to return five times value. Great upside on FanDuel, where Stevenson can crush value if he scores over 20 points. Okay, for power forward, if you don't want to pay up for LaMarcus Aldridge, have a look at Mike Scott at 3,800 FanDuel and 300 more on DraftKings. I like him much better on FanDuel. Mike Scott scored 20 fantasy points in 28 minutes last game. Great value here. Scott will only need 17 fantasy points to get you five times value. Quick note, Thaddeus Young is only 5000 on DraftKings, and that's a great price. That is priced up 1200 more on FanDuel, so that's a DK play if you need another power forward. Okay, moving on to the center position. It's a tough one here. Not much to choose from. It's going to be between Jonas Valanciunas and Miles Turner again, both at 6000 salary. I'm going to go with Miles Turner because he's playing 10 to 12 more minutes per game, and at 6000 Turner only needs 30 fantasy points to return 5 times value. Turner is 7 less on DraftKings, making him an attractive play over there as well. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video.